Hi everyone, this is Susan Campfield with SueStampfield.com. I hope you're doing well tonight. I am so excited to be back with you. I have been off doing many, many things. So uh, I'm uh, happy to be back here. I want to kind of tilt the camera just a little bit. So we're not so kitty wampus. We have a pile of fun. <laughs> we have a pile of pretty things on the desk here and we're going to do some creating tonight again this is susan campfield with suestampfield.com so glad that you can join me hi jean how are you um, tonight we're going to be playing with a gorgeous new designer series paper and suite of products and we're throwing in a little celebration freebie because guess what it's celebration right now and you can earn free stuff when you buy products so who doesn't love free stuff i love free stuff Hopefully you guys do too. Uh, the suite of products that we are playing with tonight, it's called Blackberry Beauty. And uh, this paper is to die for. Uh, the paper was held up and so it was not available on the first day that we could order. And we really had a hard time with that because we don't like to wait. Demonstrators are used to one of our wonderful perks, which is getting to order things a month early. And this paper was not order eight, ugh, not available for us to order early. So as soon as it became available, which it is now available, I, being the impatient person that I am, uh, expedited it. So it's here and we're going to play with it. I'm so excited. Um, we're also going to play with some of the other things in the suite and that's the ephemera pack. Um, and the, these are a little bit of the dies, a little bit of the stamp sets, but we're also doing a fun fold card. Sorry, I'm, I'm pulling things up. So I have been very busy with some large events and, um, my house is kind of torn apart from, uh, <laughs> everything that's been happening. We had a team event that was for uh, team members and their customers. And so if you were a customer of mine that previously had attended Demos Galore, you were invited to that, or if you'd ordered recently, uh, you would have been uh, invited to Demos Galore. And um, it was fabulous. And that one is for team and their customers. And then the other one is called Creative Connections, which is just for demonstrators. And that was on Sunday and it was fantastic, but I'm still in recovery mode. Like, fantastic fantastic like it was better than we dreamed as the as the organizers so that was great so let's look at this blackberry beauty paper and i just don't know if the camera can even come close to doing this justice can you see the gold in there it is so beautiful you guys on um, just gorgeous um blackberry bliss and rich razzleberry are very prevalent in this along with the gold accents we also have some cinnamon cider and early espresso. This one, and I, I call this the twig design, like a bunch of twigs. So it could be deer antlers, maybe. I don't know. Um, again, blackberry bliss and gold here. Um, and then we have the browns on this side. Nice masculine option there, but I'll probably be hoarding this side. <laughs> uh, and then here we have, uh, you can see some of that cinnamon cider. I believe we also have in this um, set uh, polished pink, which um, blackberry bliss, cinnamon cider, early espresso, polished pink, and rich razzleberry. I didn't really know. I think oh, here's this maybe was polished pink paired with rich razzleberry. That's an interesting combo. I hadn't thought of that. Um, so this one is so beautiful with those oak leaves um, and that hint of gold the back side of that cinnamon cider nice kind of fall pattern there again i will probably be hoarding this side and then we get into the repeat so i think this is the one i didn't show you this one is um early espresso on kind of a, a light gray background i would say with a little bit of a pink tone to it and let's see if I can, oh there you there you can see the gold if i tilt it right like that those pretty gold highlights so Hi, Cindy. I can hardly believe you're watching me live either. I'm so glad you're here. Jean's got the paper on order. Kathy's got it on order, plus the whole suite. Hey, Lynn, thanks for tuning in. So um, so that's a little peek at this super gorgeous paper. I feel like I missed one. Nope, one, two, three, four, five, six. And you get 12 by 12 and you get two of each. So we are going to make a four, I call it a four square pop-up card. I did this card with poppies, I think a couple years ago. 
Um, and let me show you what the card looks like. Uh, we might just be making the inside of the card tonight, uh, but I will walk you through how I made the front. So this is how I decorated the front. And I don't know if you can make it out. Come on, camera, focus. Right here, we have um, some of the metallic pearls. When you order the metallic pearls, you get both silver and gold. Um, they're just nice and tiny. And so I use those to, to decorate. The tag that I used here was right from the ephemera pack. So all I did was punch it out. And I stamped my I'm here for you words in Blackberry Bliss from the Beauty of Tomorrow stamp set, which is part of the suite. I used, of course, some of that gorgeous paper. Uh, this ribbon is also part of the suite, just super duper sparkly. Uh, it is called Gold Shimmer Ribbon. And boy, it sure does shimmer. It's just beautiful. And I just looped it through and then tied it in a... Uh, a knot up here. So I did the two ends together and then just tied the ends in a knot so that it's coming off of there. And I could cut those tails shorter, but I kind of like it long. So I would probably just slide it up to put it in the envelope. But the fun part of this card is that it is a fun fold. So let's look at the fun. That's a sympathy card. So maybe we don't call it fun, but it's, it's, um, it pops out. So this opens up like this and you have the four square pop out. Now, I ran out of time, and so I haven't finished my square here, but we will. I will be adding some leaves to my little square, and those are from um, the dies that are right here that are part of the suite. Uh, there is a large and three small of the oak leaves, and I'm actually planning to add, um, I'll probably stick an oak leaf here on the front. So. I'm going to walk you through how to make this inside portion because I think for most of us that's the one maybe we're not familiar with and then we'll just finish decorating this card. So uh, my sentiment here as I said this is a I decided to make it a sympathy card. I think this card would be, be beautiful for weddings, uh, birthdays, um, thank you. I mean it could be any occasion right for Thanksgiving uh, you know, whatever. I chose to use a free celebration set for my inside sentiment. Oh, things are falling. Isn't that special? <laughs> All right. You know, funny story. I was actually going to decorate the front with um, some gold leaves that are punched out that I got from the ephemera pack. And so I put glue dots on them and some liquid glue on it. And I set it aside to dry and it's disappeared. So what has happened, it has it adhered itself to the back of something, which I will find at some point, probably an ink pad or, oh golly, who knows? It could be on the, my elbow. I don't even know. So <laughs> someday it'll turn up. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go with the gold leaves now instead. So, but we're going to concentrate on this part. And I use the delicate dahlias um, to stamp the sending heartfelt sympathy on the inside. And I also use this leaf here to just highlight that a little bit. Um, the dahlias are free with a $100 purchase. And if you bought this entire suite, um, that would be $84.25. So if you just added something to your order, a couple packs of cardstock or something, you're going to be at that $100 free level. So let's talk about this. I have to tell you, okay, this is really bother bothering me that I have a naked square. <laughs> So the fun thing about this, um, this fold is that you can decorate these little squares however you want. Um, I chose to use designer paper on two of them because, oh my gosh, this paper is so pretty. And I really debated on this square right here if I wouldn't just do that because that would be quite lovely as well. Just do a different pattern. Um, in the end, I decided to do, I was going to do pretty gold leaves uh, from the ephemera pack that are floating around stick they've got glue on them they're like a live grenade so i'm sure they stuck to something they weren't supposed to come here you just trying to do my leaves oh i don't know how about that we'll just tuck it hmm. okay there right like that 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 works for me i like that so there i have the inside so let's talk about this inside piece so to make this fun fold card, these are the sizes of paper that you need. So let's talk about that. And I do know that people like to uh, see this written down and I don't have that prepared, <laughs> but I can do that for you. 
So we've got post-it notes. We can make that happen, right? So my card base is your standard four and a quarter. I'm going to think for a second. By 11. And it's scored at... Should have written base. Scored at five and a half. All right, no big surprise there, right? That's that's a typical horizontal long fold card, right? Then I have two pieces of rich raspberry. This is Blackberry Bliss. I think we already talked about that. I have two pieces of rich raspberry that are um, four. Two of those, four by five and a quarter. You guys even see that four by five and a quarter. There's two of them, two of those. Uh, and those are going to go inside our card. Then this arm piece, which of course is critical to the pop-up plan. And actually these insert pieces um, also form a very important job with this card. Um, this piece is, I have to look at my cheat sheet one moment, 11 inches long. We need another post-it note. I ran out of room. I wrote too big. Okay, we have screenshot opportunities, right? So, ooh, used up that pack of post-it notes. Um, so our long skinny pop-up piece is, I want to say one and three-eighths, but I don't want to tell you wrong. Oh, it is one and three-eighths. One and three-eighths by 11, and it is scored at... two and three fourths, five and a half, eight and a quarter. So in other words, it's scored uh, in half and then in half again on both sections, if that makes sense. So if you're watching in a different market and your cardstock size is a little bit different, you could adapt this easily by cutting the length of your cardstock, scoring it in half and then in half again for each side. And then we're going to accordion fold that. So this is going to go back and forth, back and forth, right? So that is going to form a W because this is a wow card. <laughs> All right. So we're going to, I'm just going to crease this with a bone folder. Straighten out my corners here. Get a good crease on these guys. All right, so we've got our W for our wow card. And then the last pieces are four squares of Blackberry Bliss that are two and a quarter by two and a quarter. And we're going to be layering some pieces on that that are two by two. I've got one white one and three designer series paper squares. Okay. So let's go ahead and stick some things down. And then there is a little trick to putting this in in the right way to get it to pop. So let's do that. We're going to stick down our rich razzleberry four by five and a quarter pieces, which there are two. Oh, Susan, you forgot. Sorry. Susan likes to talk to herself. <laughs> I speak to myself in third person. Ah, goodness. All right. So we're going to fold this. I just want to score. I want to give this a really good crease. This card is quite thick because of the pop-up mechanism and because of the uh, layers on the inside and layer on the front. Um, you do need to crease it quite well to keep it closed and just know it is going to be a little bit bulkier. Totally worth it because it's stunning and it's a you know it's a surprise but this is probably one that I would mail with a two ounce stamp or I would put one regular stamp on it and do the extra I believe it's 20 cents extra for the extra ounce just to cover for that extra thickness all right although sometimes with sympathy cards you're actually giving it to the person at the service so all right so now we're ready to put this piece in and this piece if i just it's the same length as my card right and so you might think that you would be adhering it from edge to edge 
if you did that, what would happen is the inside would collapse in and it wouldn't pop when it was opened. So we need to do a little trick to make sure that it pops. And that little trick is that we're going to be adhering it so that that inside part is not flat, that that is a little bit raised up. And there's a really easy way to do that and know that you got it in exactly the right spot. I am going to use tear and tape adhesive on these pieces. Now, I don't want to uh, glue down the center two pieces. I only want to glue down the first and the last scored pieces uh, because the center pieces need to pop, right? So they need to be loose. So I'm just going to take some tear and tape and put that right on. Oh, sure you are, Susan. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and just put that on here. And we're going to pull these up. All right, come on. All right, so we've got that done. Now I'm going to adhere this down on this side. It doesn't matter which side you do first, but here's the trick. I want to line up the edge of this piece, not with the outside edge, because then it's going to go flat. I want it to pop, so I'm going to line it up with the layer piece, with the inside edge of the layer piece. And some of you might have made this four square pop up before, but sometimes I forget <laughs> how I made a card and some of those little tricks, right? So I wanted to make sure that I reminded you about that. And then we're going to talk a little bit about sympathy. Um, so sympathy cards are hard to make. Um, it's hard to know what to say. I really struggle that when, when somebody has a loss. I worry about saying the wrong thing and upsetting them more. And I worry about that. And I've, I read, I just read an article again, and I've heard this before, and it's good for me to hear it many, many times, that um, the worst thing you can do when someone suffers a loss is not say anything. Um, it looks like you're not, you know, validating their loss. Sometimes it's just that you don't know what to say and you don't want to say the wrong thing. Um, it, the bigger problem is to not say anything. So it's okay to say the wrong thing as long as you're saying something. And by sending a beautiful card, that's pretty safe, right? So now I lined up this piece to that outside edge. And so when I was making this card, I thought I felt that the, the sentiments in the set, so the sentiment is in the uh, Booty of Tomorrow set, I'm here for you, was just a, a way to say, you know, I'm here for you that I don't know what else to say, but I am here for you. If you need me, let me know. And we're going to be adding a little leaf in there. Just FYI. <laughs> and then on the inside, we've got that beautiful dahlias sentiment, which is sending heartfelt sympathy and those pretty leaves. So um, let's get back to our card here. We've got our squares. Again, the squares, and I didn't do a post-it note for those. Holy moly, we forgot a post-it note. Let's slide everybody down. Oh, that's off camera. Let's, we got plenty of room here, right? Let's do one more post-it note because we can. All right, so this one is squares or two and a quarter square, right? By two and a quarter. Boy, that's really lousy writing, Susan. And then the, the layer for the squares is two by two, and we need four and four of each of those. All right, and I just <laughs> just got Sharpie on me. <laughs> All right, it's okay, we're just having fun, we're getting it done. Oh look, here's a, a pretty ephemera piece that I almost used but didn't. It's not the one I lost though. Oh, okay, I almost messed up. I started putting adhesive on this square, which isn't, it's gonna be okay, because this one is, going to be adhered to the card. So this one doesn't matter. And this one doesn't matter as much. The ones that go on this part that pops up, that I have to be careful where I put that adhesive. This one, not as much. So I'm going to just center my Blackberry Bliss square right there. Oh, it's so pretty, you guys. Pretty, pretty, pretty paper. This this mini catalog, the, Jan, the the July to December mini catalog, has some of the most gorgeous, stunning papers. Uh, they're just beautiful. 
beautiful, beautiful. And I don't know about you, but I love some pretty papers. Hey, Lisa Marshall. That's a lot of measurements. <laughs> I feel a replay coming on. Don't be intimidated. It's uh, it's very messy writing. That's why it took so many post-it notes. <laughs> one, one drawback about Sharpies. They don't write little. They only write big, right? There we go. All right, this one, it doesn't matter. I had to stop and think for a second. This one is just getting flat to the card. Now it's these two where the adhesive either needs to go just in the center of the square to be attached, or you can put it on this piece, but this piece is not flat now. So I'm gonna put it on here. Although this would certainly do the job. I could do that. Oh, let's just do that. Why not? It'll be easier. I'm just going to pop a piece of that super duper strong tear and tape right in the center. And let's look at our squares here. That's so messy, you guys. Oh my gosh, that doesn't look very nice, does it? Okay, so we're going to take this designer paper. Now this side, this is the one that you can cut into instant card fronts with that pretty gold on it. Not using that side. <gasps> I know putting adhesive on pretty gold but I really like this side and I like it for this card because it's rich razzleberry and blackberry bliss which are the colors in my card so um, let's quickly stamp our greeting I need to grab a I love my six by six grid paper we do sell this in the catalog it's fabulous I'm going to take the sending heartfelt sympathy from the Delicate Dahlias Celebration Set. And I'm gonna stamp it right in the center. That's in Blackberry Bliss. Now I'm switching to Rich Razzleberry and I'm stamping the leaves from the Delicate Dahlias Stamp Set. And I really liked it how I did it on my first sample. So I'm gonna open that up and have a cheat sheet here to look at. And we're going to have them coming down from the top as well. Thanks for sharing, Jewel. Appreciate that. All right, we're going to take this and put some adhesive on the back. And layer that right here. Now you might wonder about... Oh, Oh yes, this was going to be leaves, which I did on the other card. That's okay. So I would die cut leaves to go there, or you could certainly use the ephemera pack. And we'll look at that in just a second here. So this piece is going to be centered right on that little arm. And oh, the problem with fancy nails is they don't, they don't work good. <laughs> There we go. That's, I just need a tool. And then this one goes right in here. Give that a little press. And there, that is how that pop-up, four corner, four square pop-up works. So let's look again at the finished card here. And somewhere I had, did I lose those leaves? No, they're right here. Okay. Phew. So the I'm here for you again is from the look at beauty of tomorrow stamp set. And then this frame and this tag are from, are from the ephemera pack. Let me grab that. You get two of everything in here, which is nice. So you can see I punched it out of there, but this is where the frame was. Got all sorts. I just was punching things out, playing with things. This owl is really cool pretty on here too. Lots of fun tags and just different different elements that you can use on your card. These are the pretty shiny gold ones. This is the one that I have <laughs> floating somewhere around my office with adhesive on it stuck to something. Who knows what? Um, but for this one we're actually going to use some of the leaves that I die cut from the dies that uh, are available as a bundle with the set. And let's flip this over. 
let's grab a glue dot here. A couple glue dots and we'll finish our card off. Stick that right under there. Can you even see that? There we go. And one more glue dot. Hello, Carol Garrison. And we have this one right here. Coming right in there. So there we have our four square pop-up card with the Blackberry Beauty suite of products and that gorgeous paper, which is now available to order. Yay! Thanks so much for joining me today. I am not showing my face today because although I showered, that was all I got done today. I didn't have time to get pretty. So, <laughs> but I'm so glad I could join you tonight. Thanks for joining me and letting me share this beautiful card with you. Have a great night, everyone, and I hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.